Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over uh, this one article found on Medium. Uh, this is uh, for those uh, why financial time series LSTM prediction fails. Again, I'm no uh, expert here in machine learning or AI when it comes to trading in financial time series. Again, this is found on medium.com. Uh, just before I begin, if you're new uh, to it all, you can get one of the free books here. Uh, sign up by just basically signing up here at quantlabs.net slash book. So out of that, when you take a look at this uh, article here, it's very detailed, a lot of analysis. This is the sort of thing that will save you potentially a lot of time. Uh, this person's gone to great lengths to uh, make some references here. Again, I'm no expert here, but uh, I did find it quite interesting um, in the art, actual article where uh, some of these ideas need to be pulled out here. Uh, basically, data, thousand stocks on the NASDAQ between January 1st, 2014 to the end, uh, end of March 2017. A lot of data, microsecond, order book of certain stocks, approximately 500 GPU nodes to get this stuff, resulting LSTM, long short-term memory, network involves up to hundreds of thousands of parameters, relatively small compared to networks, for instance, an image or speech recognition, huge compared to econometric traditionally used in finance. Um, so at the end of the day, when you go through this article, this guy was saying that data, data, data is the most important which is true, he's got some neat charts, he's got some references on the code of how all of this was generated. This is probably pretty good for um, training. Uh, he also has these things called warts, I'll probably get that in a minute, a uh, summary of it. So the code's all here, it's in Python. Um, here's the results. Um, so he doesn't put a lot of faith into it. Uh, big bias and uh, whatnot. So as I said here, here's the words he's talking about. Look ahead bias requires having good domain knowledge. Removing useful information requires both domain and knowledge. More data, hyperparameter section need more data to be able to test each different model. But he says in three words, it's all about data, data, data. Um, so very, very important. Now, uh, lots of, as I said here, there's lots of code here to generate this. Uh, he also talks about trading under certain conditions. You can see here there's a looks like a research paper included as well. So you may want to check it out. Let me know what you think and uh, hopefully we shall talk to you soon. It's also using TensorFlow. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one or two. It's probably one. A lot of, lot of good stuff here. I'll put the uh, link in the, in, the, in the article as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And again, if you want to learn more as I am doing, go to quantlabs.net slash book and fill out all your details. Talk to you later.